Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to show you Space Center Houston. I loved space since I was a little child. Let's go! Space Center Houston is the official visitor center of NASA. It is a unique opportunity to experience the history and future of human space exploration. The center shows the achievements of NASA space programs, including the Gemini, Apollo, and Space Shuttle missions. You can explore replicas of spacecraft and spacesuits, view actual moon rocks, and learn about the history of human spaceflight through interactive exhibits and displays. First, we are going to show a little footage of Space Shuttle program. The Space Shuttle program was a revolutionary space transportation system developed by NASA in the 1970s and was in operation from 1981 to 2011. The program consisted of a series of spacecraft. They were designed to be reusable and were capable of carrying both crew and cargo into space. One of the most remarkable objects here is Space Shuttle Independence. It's a full-scale replica of NASA's Space Shuttle. It was built as part of a 12 million renovation project in 2012 to commemorate the Space Shuttle program, which had been retired the previous year. The Independence is mounted on top of the historic NASA 905 shuttle carrier aircraft, which was used to transport actual shuttles. You can explore the inside of the Independence. Let's see the crew compartment and the cargo bay. The exhibit also features interactive displays and multimedia presentations that allow visitors to learn about the history and science of the Space Shuttle program. It was a complex vehicle that consisted of several components, including the Abitur, which was the main spacecraft, the solid rocket boosters and external tank, which provided additional propulsion and fuel. The Abitur was capable of carrying up to seven crew members and was equipped with a cargo bay that could carry large payloads such as satellites and scientific equipment. The Space Shuttle program was instrumental in advancing human space exploration and technology. It allowed for the deployment and servicing of the Hubble Space Telescope. The program also contributed to the construction of the International Space Station. There were a total of 135 missions, with each mission lasting up to two weeks. The next hour step is Artemis mission. Artemis is a program developed by NASA to send humans back to the moon by the year 2024. Artemis is NASA's current program. New technologies help astronauts to explore new places and get the new knowledge. That's the most important thing that this knowledge and this experience will help us not only to explore the moon, but to explore Mars. With the goal of establishing a sustainable presence on the lunar surface, and paving the way for future missions to Mars and beyond. The Artemis program aims to build on the legacy of the Apollo program. Scientists found frozen water on the moon's surface, so now they are trying to find the place where astronauts can land safely. Also, they would like to find enough sun power to put sun panels there, so in future it could be the place where people can live. The way to Mars is complicated, but that's real. 
scientists put a lot of efforts to send people, astronauts, to Mars. So to 2030, they have plans uh, to send astronauts to Mars orbit. And the most interesting problem, how to grow food on Mars, because this planet has few sunlight than Earth. But now they created uh, special techniques how to use artificial light and other technologies to grow ordinary vegetables on this red planet. That's amazing. Let's look at it. Which saw astronauts visit to the moon for the first time in 1969. However, Artemis is different from Apollo in several important ways. One key difference is that Artemis is designed to be sustainable with plans for a long-term human presence on the lunar surface. This would involve setting up a lunar gateway, a small space station that would orbit to the moon, and establishing a lunar base that could support scientific research and commercial activities. You can see a lunar samples vault, which contains actual moon rocks, and the lunar gateway gallery. Let's try gravity on two planets. On the Earth, it's sufficient. But on Mars, this is so light. It features a life-size module of the Lunar Gateway, a small space station that would orbit the Moon. Discover the destination Mars exhibit. It explores NASA's plans to send humans to the red planet in the coming decades. You can experience what it's like to walk on the surface of Mars using digital reality technology and learn about the scientific and engineering challenges of traveling to and living on Mars. You can see the latest technologies for growing plants in the challenging environment of space. Enjoy examples of hydronic systems which are used to grow plants in nutrient-rich solutions without the need for soil. These systems are used extensively on the International Space Station to provide fresh food for astronauts during long-duration missions. You can see LED lighting systems can be used to stimulate sunlight and provide plants with the light. Can you imagine that leafy greens, tomatoes and even flowers can be grown in space? The Self Exploration Vehicle, or SEV, is a concept vehicle developed by NASA to support future missions to the Moon and other destinations in the solar system. The SEV is a six-wheeled vehicle. It is designed to operate in the harsh lunar environment. The SEF can accommodate up to four astronauts, along with scientific equipment and tools. It's equipped with advanced navigation systems, including GPS and laser range finding. There are lots of different awesome exhibitions in here, and we're gonna show you a little glimpse on it. One of the most iconic is the NASA Spacesuit and Costumes exhibit. It shows a wide range of space-related clothing, including spacesuits, worn by astronauts on various missions, as well as other types of clothing worn by astronauts during training and other activities. Next, we'll show you the rest of the attractions of this wonderful space museum. Thanks all. If you like this video, please thumbs up, subscribe the channel and see you soon.